Okay, I'm over at my uh, family's Father Day's dinner, and I uh, came over and walked into the kitchen, and there's a solar oven there with a couple pots in there, and then I walked over here, and here's another solar oven, and it's got, uh, my sister cooked this, and look at that chicken, oh, mm. Does that look good? I'm not sure what's in the other. What's, what's in the other one over here? Is it chicken too? This one is breasts. That one is thighs and drumsticks. Okay, so we're just opening up to check this out. Oh yeah, that looks amazing. So you notice the the uh, condensation on the lid. That was because this isn't sealed. Did you put water in with this chicken? No. All we did was put. Um, barbecue sauce on it. However, this chicken was 15% liquid added to it. Let's check the other chicken. It did not have water added to it. Okay. So let's go ahead and open up this one and see what we got in here. We couldn't find any breasts that weren't a ridiculous price that didn't have water added. So, oh. Oh. wow. Wow. Huh. That there can't be that much water. They must have added some water to that. Uh, talk to my husband, but all I did was put barbecue sauce on it. But. Wow, that looks good. That smells amazing. So chicken and barbecue sauce in the solar oven, huh? That was it. Just wanted to mention that um, they set this out this morning before we went to church at 9 o'clock. And uh, it's uh, more than done. It's, it's perfect, actually, for dinner. They didn't have to check it. They didn't have to poke it. They didn't have to turn off the oven. Didn't have to stir it. Didn't have to rotate it. Put it outside. We went to church. Came back, and dinner's ready. And then my sister said, uh, "I wonder if dinner is ready." And that's outside in another solar oven. Dessert. A dessert. So this is a salad. We brought over tomatoes from our garden. That tomato harvest has been really good. Just got the drip irrigation in, tested. So let's go take a look at what the uh, what, we ha what we have cooking for dessert. Okay, so here we are outside. And what do you call these? Funnel oven. Funnel oven. Okay. And can you explain to them, explain to YouTube how these are made and and yes. what? We just took a. Um windshield car shade. We actually found them at a dollar store for a dollar a piece. They were like starting at four or five dollars and up at Walmart. And you get some Velcro and you put three pieces of Velcro across it. Well that's too hot to touch. And as you can see just fold it around to make it a funnel. Then you set it on top of um, usually it's supposed to be a bucket or a waste basket it says so I don't know my husband stuck it on here I don't know if there's a reason why you need to have that hole going down the middle but anyway then you take you now this is something new we just tried with the uh, cupcakes pin, pin pans then we're trying to do brownies but normally you just have a black pot and you do not need a lid and you Put it in a roasting bag and you have a tray or what a cooling rack you put under it. The cooling rack makes it so it makes it sturdy if you have a smaller round pot and it also makes it so the sun can go underneath and reflect the heat up on the bottom of the um, pan. And it does a great job with chicken and everything. I did some sweet potatoes in the pot. And I loved it because I could see them, and I could poke them, and feel if they were soft and ready. Oh. And this got idea. to be 300, up to 350 degrees. Oh, so we got, we got the the um, sunshade for a dollar. We got the buckets free at a bakery. We got the bags too for a dollar at the dollar store, and the. Um, what you call them? The cookie sheet. Yeah. The, well, the the cooling rack was two for a dollar at the dollar store, and then some Velcro, and that was it. 
So for three, five dollars, you can have a solar oven. Can you reuse this uh, bag? Yes. Just wash it out. Yep. Then, we then. and we just use a twist tie. You don't use the the little zip tie that comes with it. Just use a twist tie. And um, I actually saw um, a video online where people were doing this in Africa and then just drying the bags out and reusing them. Excellent. So these are the funnel ovens. And you call it a funnel because kind of... Oh, is there... You said there's a low spot below it or something? Well... Oh, okay. So it's just folded over flat. So it's supposed to oh, be, there I think, more kind of like that. I don't know. I'm new at this, so I'm trying to figure out what all works. Okay, so if you've ever used a funnel oven and have any recommendations of how, what's the best way to, to lay it out and use it, uh, make a comment below. But this is, they've gotten great results. Um, again, this should probably be on Low Buck Prepper's channel. But uh, for five bucks, a solar oven. Oh yeah, and one reason why it was five dollars, also for a dollar we got um, the little thermostats or thermometers, that oh. oven ones, and we usually put those inside with it too. Good idea. And we made up kits and sold them to our neighbors for five dollars. That's what it costs us to make them. Awesome. And then you need a black pot. And then you need yeah. a black pot. There you go. And if you bake bread in it, you don't have to have any lid on the, um, you just have a dark bread pan dark pot, whatever. Amazing. Here you go. Well, happy Father's Day, everybody.